Welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Uh, I'm Corey, and we are here to talk. We're going to answer a few questions. So, Rick, why don't you uh, read me some of the questions that we got? Okay, this first one here is from Jay Nags mm -hmm. on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, at sign H2O-L-O-O-N-O-1, very descriptive name. Okay. Uh, asking basically about having to upgrade a Unix-based system that's running on bare metal. Mm. Question, is it possible to host something like this inside Azure? Interesting. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so a few things. I think um, uh, the answer is maybe. Uh, the answer is maybe. Uh, you know, one of the things, first of all, I'll start off with is, um, uh, first of all, we don't offer bare metal options uh, in Azure. Um, and so that's kind of one of the first uh, uh, starting points. It's all, all virtualized. And, and the main reason for this is it actually creates with the, with the fully virtualized network that we offer. Um, uh, it offers a lot more flexibility to customers to be able to deploy um, and be able to um, uh, manipulate sort of the different sizes and the different options that we have. And so it simplifies things in the long run. Um, and so this is this is one of the reasons. So to deploy something like that um, in, in Azure, we have a full range of, of Linux offerings. Um, we also actually even support uh, the ability to run FreeBSD in Azure as well on top of uh, quite a few different versions of Linux. Um, so you'd need the application to be able to, to run sort of in a virtualized Linux environment for it, to, for it to be able to move into Azure. Once you're there though, once you're actually running as part of a Linux uh, instance, we do have the ability to make it very easy to migrate. Uh, and so if you want to move that from a Linux environment running uh, in an on-premises uh, situation, you can easily migrate this using the uh, migration accelerator solution that we have um, that'll uh, basically start the VM for you automatically and migrate it uh, really on the fly, uh, make that sort of very, very minimal downtime as part of that. And then again, with that whole virtualized solution, you now can fully virtualize your network in Azure. Um, and so when you connect, you can actually control the IP addresses that this thing will get assigned. And so it gives you a lot of that flexibility. And so um, it, it, is, it is something that could be possible. Uh, uh, taking that you know, that Unix box raw from the physical machine and just moving it, uh, that that's going to be a little bit more tricky to to accomplish. So, um, but great question, really good, uh, really good, really good question. So, what else we got here? Uh, this next one's coming from uh, our Facebook side of things uh -huh. with uh, Kurt Frederick. Ah, Kurt. Uh, he's commenting, uh, same office for more than two years. Uh, must be a record. Yeah, Kurt actually used to be in the Azure team. Uh, so this is how, how he knows that my office hasn't changed. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it absolutely is a record. Uh, two years. No, um, uh, we are looking at, actually, we may be moving offices fairly soon. So uh, the, we may be, uh, the, the days may be numbered that you will see that same office with those same cardboard cutouts. And in fact, we're out here sort of with a different scene, but I'm sure you're all missing uh, you know, C3PO and the like uh, behind us. So um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, we have another one back from the Twitter side of things. Okay. This is from uh, Nonsodobe, if I remember, if I can say this correctly. Okay. Uh, this one here is basically saying, hey, I love to be more computer literate. I find advertising quite interesting. What branch of computer science can I earn a degree? Yeah, interesting. So, uh, great question. You know, I, I, um, uh, I don't necessarily want to uh, steer you one direction or another, uh, uh, frankly, um, but I would, uh, you know, obviously, uh, given the space that I'm in, I, I started as a developer in, 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 the, in the Windows uh, team uh, here, here at Microsoft, and I moved over into being um, a part of the Azure and cloud team. Um, and so, um, I particularly, I love, uh, obviously, love the cloud space. Um, I love sort of the options and the flexibility that it offers. Um, and so you can end up deploying one day a great Windows solution, the next day a great Linux solution, tie them together, add some you know, great, great website t technology on top, media services, and so put all these pieces together. So uh, you know, I really, uh, if I looked at sort of what I would study, if I were sort of going to go decide what to study, a lot of it would be sort of very focused on sort of the cloud and the, uh, the, uh, the de development practices that are now afforded to the cloud, uh, regardless of the operating system underneath. And so um, that's probably what I, what I would say. But, um, but again, uh, depends what your interests are, depends on what your strengths are, and depends on what you're uh, really looking to do. So really not a great answer or helpful at all. But I think it works. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So great. Well, that's all we got, I think, for uh, this week. Um, so, you know, uh, definitely make sure that you do give me some more comments, some questions. We will answer them. Uh, we will address comments uh, as appropriate. Um, so, you know, make sure you get them uh, on Twitter, actually, with the uh, hashtag Azure TWC, uh, and of course on Facebook as well. Uh, and so get them over to me, and we'll get them answered. Uh, and uh, if funny or, or, or what, whatever you choose, uh, we'll make sure that we address them. So, looking forward, we got next couple weeks, actually, we're approaching up to uh, some conferences. Uh, uh, build and Ignite coming up, so you're going to start seeing some announcements and some exciting stuff coming, so stay tuned. And uh, thanks for your time. Have a good day. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, welcome. Um.
<laughs> I've got my Cavazzi uh, for uh, the entire evening. <laughs> oh, did we start? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's oh, this is, we're rolling. <laughs> You're rolling. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs>